When the Soviet Union launched Sputnik in 1957, the world held its breath. It was the first artificial satellite to orbit Earth and it stunned the United States. The space race had officially begun. For a while, it seemed like the USSR was unbeatable in space. Over the next decade, the Soviets racked up milestones. The first man in space, the first woman, the first spacewalk. Neil Armstrong's one small step became a giant leap, not just for America, but for humanity. Then, in 1969, the U.S. struck back. Meanwhile, their Soyuz spacecraft first launched in the 1960s as still flying today. Decades after the Apollo program ended, with the Apollo 11 mission, NASA did what no other nation had done. They put a man on the moon. But does that mean the U.S. truly won the space race? The Soviet Luna program had already landed unmanned probes on the moon, while NASA focused on a single dramatic achievement. The Soviets invested in long-term space infrastructure, orbital stations, interplanetary probes, and reusable spacecraft. India's Chandrayaan and Mars orbiter missions have defied expectations on a modest budget. And then, new contenders emerged. China's change missions have landed on the moon and returned samples. The European Space Agency collaborates globally. So who really won the space race? Apollo won the moon. But the race never truly ended, just evolved. Today, space is not a battlefield, but a shared frontier. And perhaps that's the greatest victory of all.